arborist community expert. Today I'm going to make a video showing you guys how to measure the height of a tree. And the tools I've got to work with are just a simple yardstick you can get at the hardware store. And I got my Stanley 200 foot tape here. Alright, let's get to it. measuring today is this small Douglas fir that is dead in my backyard. It's kind of brushy but it's this it's this one closest to me here. It's back leaning a bit towards the power lines. Shouldn't be an issue. That is what I was talking about. Get your arm length. And I usually hold, just shoot over my, so that tree that I'm measuring is the, the one that's leaning real bad right there, that smaller one. I usually hold my finger about where I think I'm going to cut it, <clears throat> which is, I don't know, two or three feet off the ground. And then when you look up your stick, you want to hold the stick obviously straight as possible. I think that, so you try to line up the bottom where your stump is going to be at the same time when you look up your stick is right in line with the top of the tree. We'll go with that. I'm going to put a marker right where I'm standing, right where I think it's going to land and then we'll take a measurement and see how how close I can get. Okay guys, my guess is going to be 48 feet. I stuck this in the ground at the 48 foot mark and had I aimed the hinge the right way I think I would have been there so there was my original marker. I put the tape on the stump from where I measured before and I came up with 47 and a half. There you have it. I uh, would recommend you uh, try measuring a tree and fall on it and see where you end up so you can get an idea of how the the uh, yardstick method actually works. I'm not going to lie, it's more of an art than a science. I've been practicing it for a long time and I've, I've, I've got it dialed in enough to where I feel comfortable using it. I, I'd say it works better on smaller trees than larger trees and it gets a little tricky when the tops get really really spindly and you have a hard time holding your hand out right straight while you're trying to look at the butt and at the top at the same time. But anyways, there you have it. You can get within, you can get within a foot or better if you if you practice it. All right, thank you. Bye.